and training online and today I'm going to cover one of my favourite features of PowerPoint 2016 and that is Morph. It is a transition, a new transition introduced in PowerPoint 2016 and it, in essence the power of Morph will take out all the work that you need to go through to build transitions into your PowerPoints. On the screen here you can see I've got a PowerPoint loaded in presentation view and if I just quickly go through this you will see that all of my slides have lovely transitions from one slide to the next they just work clean and tidy and the exit effect as well and that is that now that was all done with the power of morph I did not need to create any fancy transitions for that it saved me a lot of time and it's just brilliant and I'm going to show you how to do this here today so it is really really quite simple all you need to do is when you're building your deck go to the transitions tab and select morph so if I go to slide 3 you can see that I've got morph pre-selected if I select that for none and then go back and if I press morph again you can see exactly what it's going to do for you so it is going to change sizes it will change font it will move stuff for you it's just taking all the work out of it for you for me to create something like this would have taken me ages. I'd need to do, I'd need to get each animation to come in at a certain time. I'd need to get lines across. And even then, it may not be still correct. It might be missing off by a couple of millimeters, which is just can ruin a presentation. Let's create. Welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. And today, I want to cover one of my favorite features of PowerPoint 2016, and that is Morph. Okay. It is a transition, a new transition introduced in PowerPoint 2016 and it, in essence the power of Morph will take out all the work that you need to go through to build transitions into your PowerPoints. On the screen here you can see I've got a PowerPoint loaded in presentation view and if I just quickly go through this you will see that all of my slides have lovely transitions from one slide to the next they just work clean and tidy and the exit effect as well and that is that now that was all done with the power of morph I did not need to create any fancy transitions for that it saved me a lot of time and it's just brilliant and I'm going to show you how to do this here today so it is really really quite simple all you need to do is when you're building your deck go to the transitions tab and select morph so if I go to slide 3 you can see that I've got morph pre-selected if I select that for none and then go back and if I press morph again you can see exactly what it's going to do for you so it is going to change sizes it'll change font it'll move stuff for you it's just taking all the work out of it for you for me to create something like this would have taken me ages I'd need to do I'd need to get each animation to come in at a certain time, I'd need to get lines across and even then it may not be still correct, it might be missing off by a couple of millimetres which is just can ruin a presentation. So the best way of, so let's create a new one, let's create a new morph presentation, a new morph, two new slides that are going to be morphed in, okay. It looks professional there's no messing about and it took me seconds to do and that is what I really love about morph is that the fact that it can take me seconds to do that whereas if I had to press none and I wanted to do that I would need to have this I would need to have the circle come in on this one and then I need to have the fade up in the corner but at the same time I needed to change shape it is just a nuisance so this morph is excellent and it is so simple to use once you know what it is you want to do you just have to let powerpoint do the rest for you if i select morph again here you can see how exactly how it changes and you can use this for everything when microsoft first released it they had an awesome video which, I, which I'll, I'll include in the in the notes below it was of a solar system and how they move around the planet how they move around the sun which was absolutely brilliant so i'll find that out and get that for you guys thank you for watching our latest video on powerpoint training online if you liked it don't hit don't forget to hit the thumbs up button 
and also subscribe for all the latest updates from PowerPoint Trading Online.